All right, for our project today, we're gonna to be using these colored pencils that actually say watercolor on them. Um, my students have been using these, and I don't know that many of them realize that if you add water to these once you've drawn with it, um, it actually kind of works like watercolor paint, and it kind of spreads the color around. So we're gonna be talking about um, warm and cool colors. So some examples of warm colors. We've got red, orange, pink, and yellow are all warm colors. And then we also have something called cool colors, which is blue, purple, and green. And I actually have a dark green as well. So today we're gonna be using something called contrast. So warm colors contrast cool colors. So if I were to color half of my picture warm colors and the other half with cool colors, then I would make a picture that has really good contrast. What I'm gonna be doing today is tracing my hand and the ins so whatever's inside of my hand is gonna be a warm color. The background behind my hand, I'm gonna use cool colors. So what I'm gonna do is actually use a black to trace my hand first. Just make sure that you have your pencil straight upright and that you hug your fingers when you color or when you trace around your arm, okay? I also went around my wrist and brought it all the way out to the edge instead of just having a floating hand. So once you have your hand, what I like to do is kind of make a curved rainbow shape. You could also just do a, diag a bunch of diagonal lines, but I like to go like this and I make about maybe 10 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'll probably go back and add a few more. Nine, 10, 11, 12, and that's probably good. So now I said that my hand is gonna be the warm colors. So what I would do is maybe I'll make some type of pattern. So I'll start with red and I'm just gonna apply it loosely. And then I have a cup of water and I don't wanna to use too much water so I'm scraping off some water. And then I'm gonna spread this color out and it makes kind of like a paint. I'm gonna do my best to stay in the lines. Like this. All right, so I have my red. I can do some orange. Now I'm actually not pressing down really hard. I'm just pressing really lightly and putting some color on there and then the water kind of fills it in and makes it darker. Like this. And then I'll do some yellow. Oop, I accidentally splashed some water on my page. Now already I'm noticing that what I should have done is probably just used a pencil instead of using the black watercolor marker because now look, my black watercolor pencil is starting to smear a little bit if I go outside of the lines. Um, pink is also a warm color. So I'm gonna add some pink. Now, if you add too much water, then you might get a hole in your page or it might be hard to, um, it might be hard to see your colors. It might start to dull. Okay, so what I would do is I would continue and I would color my hand all with these warm colors. Now, for sake of time, I'm going to show you how to do um, the background. So the background, you'll use your cool colors. I'm gonna do green first. So make sure that you color on both sides, right? So the light green is here, it's gonna go over here too. Like this. And sometimes what I like to do to make sure I don't have too much water is to pinch off the water. So I just have a little bit. There we go, got some green. 
And I'm gonna use a dark green next. Like this. Now, where else would I need to put this dark green? Over here. So kind of follow your curve. And I'm gonna pinch off some water again and spread it out. pretty good. All right, I need to add blue and purple. And actually, I should have a dark blue as well. Um, right here. So you can use all of these different colors, light green, dark green, light blue, dark blue, and purple. So I think I'm going to do light blue next. And spread it out. And dark blue next. Oh, this might be more of a purple. Well, it says it's blue, but it kind of looks purple to me. It's like a royal blue. The darker and harder you press, the darker your color will be. There you go. And the last color I would need to do would be purple, which these pencils say violet, which is kind of hard to read, but it says violet. Now, the mistake that a lot of students make is that they accidentally color the whole thing, but you need to just stop wherever the hand is. So if you need to, put your hand over it and figure out where you need to go next, which is over here. So those are all of my colors that I have. So what I would probably do is just repeat my pattern. So I started with red with my warm colors. So once I used orange, yellow, and pink, I'd go back to red, orange, yellow, pink. Now the fingers get tricky. Again, just follow the line and figure out where you need to put each color. So I will go ahead and finish this up and I hope that you enjoy this project and that you learn something new about contrast. If you can see, we're already starting to have some contrast between the cool colored background and the warm colored hand. I hope you enjoy and good luck on your project.